Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 with our no honor playthrough. Okay, glue. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is we are going to uh, do the first. There we go, I think we're clean. Uh, we're going to do the first mission for the Greys. That we didn't get to last time. We didn't do any main missions last time. And that's fine. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the Greys. And then we're going to go from there. Because that's the only main mission we have on the map right now. It shouldn't be too far away, right? There we go. Should be out front. Okay, so... We're kind of coming from the back way. Okay. So we're headed the right way. Now. There we go. I'm a student of the history of the region, and uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. Right there. See you at 
the sheriff's office? Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So, she's not going to get that bracelet. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, fella. And that is an option to just give her the letter and not give her the bracelet. So, yes, I had to go get my stupid horse. Okay, um... There we go. So let's plan this a little bit. She's there. Didn't realize Caliga Hall was that close to San Denis. Are we not on the property yet?
I think I'm good. Yep, I'm good. She's right in there. Wow. Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Okay. Now we need to sneak back out. Yeah, I think we got it. Yep, I think we're good.
There we go. Come on now, boy. Yep. So now let's go back to Bo. We don't need to do that right now, but that is the only thing that we have. Family business coming through. You're good. Here we go. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Okay. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Oh, here we go. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There! There they are! Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed! I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please! Do what? Not this marble. We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, 
Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, yes ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Sing songs now, of freedom now. and glory. Take us down Main Street, right Everyone through town to the steps of the bank of roads, Mr. Me. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay in the main street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe in my pride. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you the doing? Hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Ah. You it. Oh. Oh. This philosophy hey. dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. The future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Yeah, I don't know what happened to them, but okay. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. <laughs> Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and 
Penelope said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. We got thirty dollars. Nicely done, boy. And now we have um Abigail. Really? Right. That is all we have, okay. Yep. Ah. Ah. You okay, boy? So let's... Make sure we're on the right. On the right road here. And it is morning, okay. All right. Don't want to kill people needlessly.
Okay, let's uh, find the food. Yep, that's uh, letter to Leonard. Sure. Lenny. Okay, there is no food. All right, no problem. Um, hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Okay. We're just right back out of camp again. And we'll just follow the road around, and we should run right into Hosea and John. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Joe. Okay. Okay, okay let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Okay, we're good. my fine fellow may i have a word with the man of the house the man of the house is a lady mrs catherine braithwaite may i speak with her i want to discuss a business opportunity i mean no harm no harm at all you may happily shoot me if i do <laughs> okay okay she's at the house we'll be watching you you heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Okay. What you 
Walt. Found something. Out in the hills. Thought, thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now... Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Okay. Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we All right. Go. So I finally sold those oh, okay. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs, gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. <laughs> All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing <laughs> dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. A squint. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Throw poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Benton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Okay. Keep it and stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you'd strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> pick up the moonshine. But it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. 
We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Here we go. Gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your left. I'll have one, Ben. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift. Oh, that's some nice strong stuff. Just keep them coming. Sin will catch us all. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! On my way. Really?
Okay. Wow. Take up a career. What was it? Advertising. <laughs> yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Okay. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. 
I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. And it is night time. Let's go ahead and sleep until morning. Let's see what we can do for shaving. Yep, we like it at three. Let's pomade the hair. Let's run over and grab some stew while it's still there. Place. Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Hey there, Tilly. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot. Well, it'll do us for now. Where's my horse? Where is my horse? Morning, Arthur. Never comes when I need Okay. So the Domino's table is open. See who we've got here. Any of you up for dominoes? Why not? Okay. So we're going to play this one with Abigail. I think she is the one that we've been waiting for. Grab that one. Mm. 
That'll work. That's not looking up, amigo. Nothing? Wow. Gotcha. Nice to have that breeze coming off the wall. This ain't worth nothing. Ha, <laughs> well. Here. Okay. Domino. Yes. Fine. And ooh, we got another twenty five, so we're up by fifteen. So apparently she's not the one we've been waiting for. But we'll finish this one out since we're almost halfway there. That'll work. Nothing here. This ain't looking great for you. Okay. This is nothing. Ah, oh, here's one. Give me something. Great. That's not much use. Gotcha. There. Good Dumb. for you, I guess. Yep. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm only 20 away. Thank you. 
go. There we go. I'm done. That Domino. was something. There we go. If it means there we got five. work Not much I can do. She won. Now we're talking. Okay. Oh, you'll be fine. All right. So we have the grace. We have the breath weights. Um. I still want to catch that fish. So we're going to do that. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Just to catch that fish. Try to catch it from here. Here we go. Okay.
Not a lot of fight, so I'm assuming this is not the one. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see here, not a lot of fight. He's not the one either. Oh, you're quite a large mouth. Okay. Fish. That's not the right one. Good luck, my friend. Come on. That's it, come on! Whoa, okay! Nope. Mm. 
Okay, come on. Come on. Good to meet you. It's not the right one. Off you go then. Skip. Nope, um, it's not what I'm looking for. See, you're there or there. Let's try there. And if we Oh, and there's something with Dutch, too. We've got boats somewhere. Where did they go? There were boats somewhere. Okay, I don't know where the boats went.
Okay. So if we just go straight across here. Bound to find him. Oh, this might be him. That's a lot of fight. We go the legendary bluegill. The bluegill, okay. We are done. So let's head somewhere. Yep, we'll just head into roads to the post office. Nothing special. So you guys know I had nothing to do with what's up there. Just want to make that clear. Before the next collection. Okay, I don't have anything else. Uh, that's three caught. Thanks, Mister. Okay.
So there is something back here with Dutch. Right, okay. Well, we're gonna go back to Clemens Point. We're gonna try to not talk to Dutch. But yeah, if we can just get to base, get to the camp without talking to Dutch, that's what we will do. There we go, we will get our horse right there. There's Dutch, but we are not going to do anything with him. Nope, nope. I can't hear you. Okay, so we are going to end today's episode right here i want to thank everybody for watching my name is all stream that hit the like button if you like this type of content that lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time i post a video and follow me on twitter twitch and discord the links will be in the description below have a wonderful day